It's the Deck Talking Devil back with you again. So, were you able to astral travel? We talked about this last week. I did a video on astral travel or astral projection. And I want to know if any of you guys actually tried it or whether you know about it. Uh, you know, astral travel is one of those things that we come across when we're on this journey to consciousness and we're seeking out different systems of spirituality and we're tapping into the collective cosmic consciousness and we're trying to awaken the inner self. You know, uh, it's one of those things like uh, Kundalini and the chakras, Sekum and Mara, uh, the Ida and Pingala, you know, when, when we're trying to tap into that inner chi, you know, that, that energy that uh, resonates with inside of each one of us, we come across things like astral projection. You know, spirituality is something that we, we shouldn't lose sight of. We should constantly be striving to be in touch with our inner selves, to awaken our inner selves, whether that's through meditation, uh, different breathing techniques and exercises to try to enter into that transcendental state. You know, all of these things are just vehicles to take us to a certain place. And so I don't knock any of them. You know, I'm not saying I, I uh, subscribe to them all, but I don't knock any of them because it's just somebody's way of trying to awaken their inner self, trying to tap into that, that energy uh, that resonates with them. I think uh, for me, I definitely believe that there's something that supersedes the natural the physical whether you call that spirit or the soul uh, the higher self the supreme intelligence you, you know the supreme mover the first cause what whatever you call it you know some people call it the Holy Ghost uh, but whatever you call it you should be making some kind of attempt to find out more about it in my opinion my humble opinion you know i don't lay down dictates for anybody to live their life by you know as individuals we have to find that path and we have to stick to it but do something you know don't don't allow yourself to become stagnant don't let your spirit being spiritual nature lie dormant uh, because I definitely believe that there's different levels of energy that we can tap into and so whatever system you subscribe to if you practice more science you know and you subscribe to that then hats off to you you know if you practice Sufism uh, mysticism uh, whatever, you know, the chakra system, yoga, meditation, these breathing techniques, Ifa, Kundamble, Santeria, Espiritismo, Ocha, uh, Palo Meombe, 21 Divisions, whatever it is, embrace what you subscribe to and be committed to that. Practice set your mind to it you know if anything you should have some moment in time every day where you focus on things that are not physical where you just have some me time to ground yourself you, you know to clear yourself 
because in this world we pick up all of this different energy uh, and not all the energy is positive not all energy resonates with us but you have to have some me mechanism some method of processing all of these different vibrations of energy and so I've tried and practiced several of them meditation being one for years now and I see great benefits uh, even if you say well the benefits are just psychological uh, it's healthy psychologically it's healthy so practice something you know if you only focus on the physical it can be very depressing amidst this COVID-19 pandemic uh, uh, amidst political scandals, economic uh, catastrophes, and all of the societal norms uh, that we deal with and are, are exposed to on a daily basis, you have to have some means of grounding and clearing yourself. You know, I think it's vital to our well-being from a holistic standpoint. And so whatever that is, you know, embrace it. When you had an opportunity to collaborate with other individuals, to sit down and dialogue, you know, be willing to open up about that because it's people who are likewise trying to find what works for them. Some people have found what works for them. And they'll be willing to share information that can help you along this path. But, you know, I think conversations like this are very important when this information is shared. You know, no one has a monopoly on spirituality. No one's the guru for spirituality. My spirituality is different than somebody else's. My vehicle is different than somebody else's, the means, the way, the matrix uh, that I utilize to get in touch with my higher self, my inner self, my higher being, uh, may be different than yours. But as long as you're doing something, and as long as that something is not harmful to others, uh, because I'll get hit with this. Well, why do you attack Christianity and Islam and stuff? Uh, because I view them as being harmful to others. That's why. You know, uh, I don't think from a psychological standpoint that they're healthy uh, for individuals, especially for children. I don't think that they're moral. And, uh, you know, I, I have a problem with it when these systems take it upon themselves to make dictates to legislation and we have laws and we have holidays and things that we're forced to be in compliance with that stems from a religious system. And then we mandate that for society. Uh, you know, it, it's not, it, it's not healthy. Uh, it's not healthy at all. You know, if you think back to, uh, the court system, uh, if you think back to the Pledge of Allegiance, if you think back to, uh, our currency system, you know, in God we trust, swearing in on a Bible, uh, one nation under God, indivisible. You, you know, all of these things that stem from a religious ideology, I don't think has any, any place in society as a standard, as something that people should be held to. You know, if you're not going to make national holidays uh, for Obatala or Olodumare, uh, if you're not going to make holidays for Ogun or Zarabanda or Mama Chola, then why in the hell are you creating holidays for Easter?
and Christmas and Lent and all of these different things that stem from religious ideologies is biased and I don't think it's healthy. I really don't. So, uh, you know, my views on that is a bit different because those are systems that I view as being harmful. Uh, anytime a system deems it okay to slaughter people because they don't share the beliefs of that system, I view that system as harmful. And I don't think they're healthy uh, and should not be presented to the masses of people as something that is good. So I try to shed light on those things. So whatever it is that you do, do it. Go big or go home. You know, practice your craft, whatever that is. Find peace. Uh, don't let the trials and tribulations of life tear you down so much emotionally, physically, mentally, that you lose touch with your inner self. When you need answers, you can go within. When you need peace and healing and joy and all of those things, you can go within and find everything that you need, but you have to get in touch with yourself. All right. In Ifa, they would say the Ori, you know, that higher self. So do something, don't be stagnant. Utilize your time. Do something. Make sure you're constantly growing. Make sure you're constantly learning. Make sure you're constantly sharing and helping others to ascend. So, whatever your system is, embrace it wholeheartedly. Get active. If you've been distracted, you've been discouraged, and you lost track, of that focus that you had, now's the time to get back on track, to get engaged, be active, and do those things that will help you set yourself at ease. This has been the Deck Talking Devil with just a brief message to try to encourage you guys to get back at your spiritual game. Until next time, keep learning, my friend.